Yo, what up, my fellow king? So, it's your boy over here. I'm back here with another infield footage. You know, it's Tuesday, and I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So, basically, in this video, I'm going to be approaching an Asian girl, but in a crowded environment. So, this is great for if you have social anxiety. Because, like, you see, like, people bumping into us, and I have to switch the environment. Okay? So, I'm going to make this video a little different from my other videos. So, normally, I like to talk. I used to have infield, then talk, infield, then talk. But now, a subscriber brought to my attention that like, yo, it's too choppy. So I'm going to play the whole infield footage first. And then I'm going to have my segment of breakdown where infield talk, infield talk, infield talk. So if you want the breakdown, stay to the end, okay? And also, yo, check out the ebook in the description. Any woman you want, only six steps and the free infield compilation. With I'm not talking, just straight infield. So that's in the description, okay? Okay, guys. And then I'm in a DMV area, so I do a lot of infield coaching. So if you guys are interested in infield coaching, here is my social media. And also, if you have a question that you want to ask over Skype, I do Skype coaching too, video coaching too. So here's all my information. And then guys, the interaction doesn't go that well, but I like to post my success and my failure because it's part of the game. You guys have to charge some stuff to the game. So like, yo, I'm not just going to show you how good, just straight good infield. I'm going to show you all my failures too, okay? So I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. So peace out. Let's watch this infield video, okay? Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. I'm going to tell you guys a quick secret on how to get good at game, okay? Yo, smash that like button. Okay, but it's like now, smash the like button. It holds me. So let's jump into the Oh my gosh. Now. Can you get a handicap pass? No, I can't. Oh my, damn. Why are you coming well, up my height for? You said what? Why are you coming up my height? I'm not even coming. I wish I was 4 less so I get a handicap. Well, but I wish I was 4'8". I think you're going to be like 4'8". Damn. That's short as shit. I, the 4'11 is kind of short too. So I'm like, what am I going to do with you? When we go park somewhere, I can't even use the handicap pass. What am I going to do with you? Trust your arm and shit. You too cool with all black. Let me find out. You too cool with all black. Let me find out. With the red too? Mm -hmm. With the red? With the red. It's matching your nails. Yeah. Matching your nails. I got a match. <laughs> I'm Olu. I'm Olu. Dom. Dom? Where you from? Am I wallin'? Huh? Am I wallin'? A little bit. Guys, I'm trying to be a sweet gentleman. You know, back in the day, when guys were wholesome, we used to grab girls' hands, kiss them. Are you talking then, like, to like 80? How old are you? Damn, I'm 44. I'm the 44 year old virgin, you feel me? Yeah, I'm like Bill Cosby right now. You like Bill Cosby? Yeah, how do you? I'm 22 right here. 22? Oh, damn, you're not that young. I'm actually 23, so it's like, I was hoping you wasn't going to say 18. I was like, oh, fuck, I got to walk away. Mm. How long have you been in? No, I'm sorry, how long you been here? Out here? Um, like 30 minutes. Oh, you just got here. Yeah, bumping this here. You can move this way if you want. You said what? Okay, so you guys watched the first part of infield. Okay, so now I'm going to segment into the breakdown part. So it's going to be infield, then talk and breakdown, saying what you guys can do better, what I did wrong, how you guys can learn, and how you guys can implement this in your game, okay? So... Let's jump oh right in. Can you get a handicap pass? No, I can't. Oh my, damn. Why are you coming up my height for? You said what? Why are you coming up my height? I'm not even coming. I wish I was 4'11 so I could get a handicap. Well, but I wish I was 4'8. I think you're going to be like 4'8. Damn. That's short as shit. I, the 4'11 is kind of short too. So I'm what? Like, what am I going to do with you? When we go park somewhere, I can't even use a handicap pass. What am I going to do with you? So I didn't get the opener again, but an opener is actually, I came up to her and I saw she had small feet. So I said something about her feet and I immediately switched the conversation to her height. Okay, so she's short. So quick tip, whenever you're messing with a short girl, always ask them like, yo, dang, how tall are you? If she says anything between 5'2 and 4'11, yo, ask her like, yo, can you get the handicap pass? Like, yo, I really need that. Or like, yo, what am I going to do with you? You can't get the handicap pass? Or are you a certified midget? Yes, these are all fucked up lines. They're not actually funny. But you'd be surprised if you keep the energy, girls will actually laugh. Like, yo, think about the, the, the guy who gets the most girls that you know. He probably says like the most disrespectful stuff, but he smiles and laughs about it. So you can technically say anything you want as long as you smile and as long as she has some type of interest. But gauge it, okay? Don't be socially unaware. Bro, 
You don't want to be approaching a girl and be like this. Are you a midget? Are you 5'8"? Are you tall enough to get uh, a handicap sign? No, that's fucking awkward. You don't want to be approaching girls with a straight face. Like, yo, smile. Like, are you a midget? <laughs> Press your arm and shit. You too cool with all black. Let me find out. You too cool with all black. Let me find out. With the red, too? Mm -hmm. With the red? With the red. Oh, with it's the matching hand. your nails. Yeah. Matching your nails. We got a match. <laughs> I'm Olu. I'm Olu. Where you from? Am I Wallen? Huh? Am I Wallen? A little bit. I don't know who you are. So a lot of people say don't validate girls, but sometimes you can use it to your advantage. So if you guys see, like, I ran out stuff to say, so I started talking about her about her body language like look at you with the all oh, with the red shoes on with the black on who you think you are you trying to be fancy or like um with your arms crossed so at this point i'm reading her body language see she reacts see she laughs like and then that's just conversation topics that you guys can use and then basically like yo i thought she had high interest for me at first and then i asked her her name and then when i asked her name i went for a hand and tried to give her a kiss and then she basically, she she wasn't too receptive. So like stuff like this happens when you go too physical and you, you shouldn't really like kissing the hand. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I don't really get bad reaction, but you will get sometimes. But if you ever get too physical, like yo, just chill out because the Me Too movement, that is a serious thing. You don't want no Me Too movement crimes, okay? I can't even get mad that she, she rejected me and said like, yo, I don't really know you. It's not even that, that big of a rejection, it's a subtle one, but it's like, yo, just imagine if you're a five, five, eight Asian or five, 11 Asian, and then a guy, black guy, about like almost six foot comes approach you and starts kissing your hand randomly. Like, yo, that's fucking weird, like, okay? Oh my God, I'm trying to be a sweet gentleman. You know, back in the day, when guys were wholesome, we used to grab girls' hands, kiss them. Are you talking then, like, you know, like 80, how old are you? Damn, I'm 44. <laughs> I'm the 44 year old virgin, you feel me? Yeah, I'm like Bill Cosby right now. You like Bill Cosby? Yeah, how do you? I'm 22 right here. 22? Do me a favor, leave in the comment the type of girls that you like, the type of girls you guys want me to approach. Like, yo, I love me some curly hair girls with nice, that, with a nice body, okay? So now tell me what type of girls you guys like, okay? Oh, damn, you're not that young. I'm actually 23, so it's like, I was hoping you wasn't gonna say 18. I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta walk away. Mm. How long you been here? No, I'm sorry, how long you been here? Out here? Um, like 30 minutes. Oh, you just got here. Yeah, bumping this here. You can move this way if you want. You said what? So in every interaction, especially when you're beginning, when you just started, like you're gonna mess up a few times. You might get too physical, it might not work. You might say the wrong thing, it might not work, but that's all part of the game, because you're learning. Now I know now, if the girl's not that interested, don't don't go in for the kiss and learn how to defuse the situation. So the way I try to defuse the situation is by people call it plowing and pick up artist community, but I'm just gonna say I was rapping. <laughs> I was rapping. So Basically, I started talking about like, yo, back in the olden days, guys used to kiss girls. And then I used to be like, um, oh, I don't want to be Bill Cosby. Like, oh, I thought you were going to be too young for me or some shit like that. So now I'm just joking, saying random topics. See, she's going to bite on something. And if she bit on the Bill Cosby thing, the Me Too era, that's probably not the best thing to talk about. But who knows? It's, it's an interesting topic. Okay. And then she asked me my age. So I lied. I made a lie, a kind of funny lie though. It's like, yo, I'm a 44 year old virgin, okay? So now she knows damn well I'm not 44 years old. And your girl can talk to you and tell if you're a virgin now. So she knows I'm not a virgin either. So now she told me her age, which is 22. So now I'm joking around her like, oh, you're still legal, okay? So that's the, that's a good way to defuse the situation. By the time, the, by the end of this interaction, I already talked myself at the interaction. I already messed myself a couple times, but like, yo, it's part of the game. It's stuff like this happens. And you guys see like someone bumped into her. So I try to use the opportunity to move her around to get her to a change her position, basically. But it didn't work. Her friends end up, she ended up going to her friends and leaving with them. So like stuff like this happens, like it's part of the game. So like, this is why I say have the buttons mindset, be able to approach different girls. Like rejection happens and just don't let it phase you. Don't get mad, okay? So yo, if you like this kind of content, yo, I post a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, yo. 
and basically like yo tell me what type of videos you guys want me to put make and then leave in the comments like the questions that you guys have so i can do a question and answer session answer all you guys questions and yo make sure to get the link in the description i got a one hour free um infield compilation with no one me talking to straight infield okay and then make sure to sign up for the um facebook group so you can ask me questions in there so it's a little more intimate i'm talking to you guys okay so yo make sure to like subscribe i fucking love when y'all leave me comments yo and smash that like button so peace out fucking love my young kings